All right, welcome back to some Pokemon Uranium. Bum, 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 da, dum. I love this song. Let's get all these uh, giddy berries. I'm gonna go check what all these berries do as well. And also, it's been like a day now, so I could run back and get all the orange berries that I planted earlier, which I think I'm gonna do. Um, what a lovely place for battling. Go Raptorch! Oh, um, I did find out something, you guys. Raptorch does not evolve until level 29, and he only has one evolved form. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be evolving anytime soon. But I'll continue my journey anyway. He does learn some pretty cool moves, though. I think the next move he learns is at, like, level 25, and I think it's... Um, magnitude, and magnitude is a pretty strong earth type attack. Wow, th 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 that cat has some uh, pretty good special defense. I'm asleep. Oh crap, I'm asleep. I don't have any other Pokemon. I really need to train a Gyarados soon. <laughs> Should be a one hit kill. Oh, dang it. I'll use Amber. I think what I'm gonna, gonna what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run back, I'm gonna go check on my berries, and then I'm gonna heal my Pokemon with my Anti, and then I'll continue my journey. Maybe we'll run into a cool Pokemon on the way. It actually went a lot further than I thought. It's been a day since I've played. Um, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I have pretty short-term memory, so, or bad short-term memory, so, uh, I have to kind of remember what I was doing. There we go. Oh, I should have caught that thing. I haven't caught that one. Let's see if I can use Scratch on it. Maybe, uh, catch it. It's a pretty cool looking Pokemon. It's kind of like the Weedle. The Weedle Pokemon. Or maybe like Spinarak. I forgot which uh, Pokemon that generation was from. Or that one, uh, whatever. No, so close. Oh, I hope I don't get poisoned. If I get poisoned... It's gonna be... A Actually, I should probably heal up my Pokemon. Come on, catch it! Yes! And one thing I forgot to mention when I first uh, started playing this game, there's like another mode that you can choose to play where if your Pokemon faints, they actually die, which is uh, pretty crazy. Sort of like the, uh, the roguelike mode. Makes the game super challenging. Alright, so I'm just gonna quickly go up here, talk to Auntie, heal up. And then, let's go ahead and go back down and check on my berries that I planted. I'm not gonna be planting any more berries just because I feel like it's just a waste of time, most mostly, but uh... There's some berries down here that are fully grown, yes, and they're orange berries. I love orange berries because they heal you instantly and you don't have to waste a turn. And they're especially good for like boss fights or uh, gym leaders. Sweet. And you know what? I might as well give an orange berry to my Pokemon. Cherry Berry, Paralysis, Burn, 10 HP, Paralysis, Sleep, Burn, Defrost. Alright. I 
I'm a little bit sad that I don't have any other, like, Pokemon that I can use in battle. Um, I mean, that's just my fault, really, for not training any of the others. I didn't want to waste time. But I really, really do want to train another one, and it's probably going to be that Magic Carp that I caught. I just need to get to a Pokemon Center to switch it out. Man, key level nine. That's pretty, uh, pretty up there. Learning magnitude will be pretty useful because uh, I think Earth is strong against normal type, and I think it's strong against ground type. I mean, a uh, rock type as well. So. Kind of a good combination there. I mean, I do have Mud Slap, but it'd be cool to have a, uh, another move. Flame Wheel. And to, and to everyone who's watched up to this point, um, post in the comments if you've downloaded the game and played it for yourself, and how uh, your experience has been going with it. I mean, so far, personally, I feel like this is an amazing game. An amazing Pokemon game. Especially for a fan-made project. This is probably the best fan-made Pokemon game I've played. I've played a few others, and others are pretty good, but they're usually just uh, reused assets. This seems like a full-out, like, remaster. <laughs> Or reimagining of one of the uh, Pokemon games. I got Stardust. What does Stardust do? I think that improves the power of water type. It can be sold at a high price of shops. Okay, never mind. Let's talk to this person. Nothing. Bro is lovely. I don't know you, but I'm sure you will agree with me. Okay. So we finally made it to the city. Barole Town. Welcome to Barole, I'm the local town greeter. Let's go ahead and purchase some more items. So I can buy some great balls. I guess I should buy a few. And maybe some more potions. Definitely always useful to have a lot of potions handy. How many antidotes do I have? Only two. Let's buy three more. And... Maybe one paralysis heal, just in case. And a couple repels. Escape rope. I think I have enough of those. And that's about it. I could buy some more pokeballs, but nah. I'll buy... One super potion. Now I'm broke again. I'm gonna explore this town a little bit. This is about the time where there's some useful, like, side things. It's really interesting how the kids are into learning. I've never seen them like this before. I think it's dangerous for young kids to just leave home and go adventuring like you do. Let me go upstairs. Is this an upstairs Pokemon battle arena? It is! It's a practice arena. That's awesome. One hit KO. Oh, I didn't kill it. Wow. Cuffly has a lot of health. Not effective. And also just looking at Raptorge's stats, it doesn't seem like... Oh, in the battle, sweet. It doesn't seem like he's that, like, great of a starter Pokémon. Um, I feel like all the Pokémon in this game are sort of average, so that means it doesn't really matter which Pokémon you choose to use as your, like, main. The starters don't have, like, a huge advantage like they did in the other games. Like, Charizard used to be way overpowered. He has a Raptorge too! 
Okay, I'm gonna do mud slap. See what that does. Oh, it's super effective, and his accuracy is going down. And it didn't do anything. <laughs> I'll do a scratch. Beletics. Ooh, that's a cool Pokemon. Hmm. I wonder what type he is. Maybe he's electric water? Yeah, that was pretty fun. I guess we'll battle this guy next. Hey trainer, these kids need help studying. If you can battle them all, you'll get a special reward. Okay. I figure if I learn how to battle Pokemon good, I can beat Pokemon Red version easy. Wanna fight? <laughs> uh, Red version's my favorite. Flame Wheel. So like I said, at <clears throat> level 29 I'll evolve, so it's not going to be anytime soon. I always forget what type Grozart is. Awesome, thanks. This should help them with their studies. Now you get your reward, a solid gold nugget. That is, if you join up with Team Rocket first. What? <laughs> gotcha, didn't I? Haha, <laughs> but seriously, you want to battle me? You get a nugget if you win. Prepare yourself. Team Rocket. <laughs> thanks to James. I wonder if that's James from Team Rocket. <laughs> Funny little uh, similarity there. Too. This is a new Pokemon. Ooh, a cat. Whoever made this game must have really liked cats. Because there's a lot of cat type Pokemon. Charging power. Special defense rose. Brand? This gonna be Pokemon too. What in the world? Not effective. Oh, it's a bird type, I think. Must be a weird combination. As promised, here you go. This should be good training for the gym if you haven't beaten it yet, and thanks. Okay, I got a nugget. Oh, I should go to the Pokemon Mart and sell the Stardust and the nugget. Five thousand, sweet. And the Stardust? One thousand. All right, time to continue on our journey. The Vern loves caves. Apparently, he grew up in one, so he built his gym in a cave and uses cave Pokemon to battle. I work for the gym leader, Devern. My Pokemon and I constantly excavate the surrounding caves. All right, so. 
Next Pokemon is, I mean, next gym leader is going to be mainly like a rock and ground type. Playing the new game on the block, Pokemon Silver. I've just caught a Ladybug. I had Pokemon Silver. Definitely a really good game. I actually had Silver and Gold, but Silver is what I played first. I'm just going to talk to all these people. What do you say? If bad guys like Team Rocket actually existed, they wouldn't stand a chance against me. <laughs> Alright, here's the Pokemon Center. I bet the gym is coming up soon. Let's go ahead and heal up. This here is an old mining town, and the best and biggest mine is down in the local gym. Alright, looks like I'm fighting the gym. I'm just gonna look around real quick. Doesn't seem like there's anything else, so let's go ahead and go in the gym. Oh, it's actually a cave. A cave gym. The Cave Excavation Master. Howdy, sport. If you're to face gym later, you better be prepared. Devon here uses a variety of Pokemon which are found in caves. Be ready to face rock, ground, and poison types. If you've got a water or fighting type, it's sure to come in handy for this battle. Here, take this. Fresh water. Cool, so every time I guess he gives you fresh water. That's pretty awesome. I strengthen myself by crushing boulders with my fist. Oh yeah! I should go back and get a Magikarp and train out my Magikarp. I'll do that after this battle. It's gonna be kind of boring to watch though. I'm gonna be sending in Magikarp and then switching out and doing that constantly until he's level 20. I think that's when Magikarp evolves. Could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's 20. Oops. Need to get him out of the box. There he is. He should level up really fast though. I remember Gyarados though takes a long time to level up. His experience rates are kinda low. It's kind of dark in here. In a cave, wild Pokemon can jump out of anywhere. Look out. That was hard. Should we use Splash? No. <laughs> what? What? He can't be switched out? That Grozard must have a special ability or something. Crap. Maybe prevents you from switching out. Oh, that was a fail. 23. Dang it. Gotta go heal up my Magikarp again. Run, run, run. To the Pokemon Center we go. I was hoping I could just switch him out and get a ton of experience for him. I mean, I think he's gonna level up to at least level 8 in like one battle.
been digging tunnels for years. What have you accomplished? Digging tunnels is not an accomplishment. <laughs> okay, we're magic card. Yeah, it looks like Rosard had some sort of ability. How many levels Magikarp gets? None? Are you kidding me? Crap. I might have to hold off on Magikarp. I didn't know it's gonna take this long to level them up. I'm sure I'll get a EXP share later on in the game, hopefully. But I would... I would really like a Gyarados. You got 2 HP, 1 defense... oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if I have it in me to keep training this Magikarp. I'm gonna go heal up one more time and then I'm just gonna switch him out. I will train him later on though. Like maybe... Maybe whenever we get further on in the game and the experience rates are a bit higher... Then I'll... then I'll train him up. But for now, he's just gonna be sitting there... Splashing around all day. Okay, time to earn our first or our second badge. Uh, I have to get items. Probably have to use Rock Smash. It's a bright gym. Hooray! Wow, oh, I must have got lucky there. I chose the right rock. Hey, trainer, I'm sure you know this by now, but I'm Devern, gym leader of. Town. I raise Pokemon that are found in caves. Most people find caves scary, but ever since I was a kid, they always felt like home. That's why I dug out this abandoned mine and converted it to an, a gym. My Pokemon are toughened through hard work and battle. Can you stand up to our strength? Show me you're not afraid. To burn. Only level 15? I was expecting a lot higher. Drill? It's a new one. Ooh. And he's burned. I'm just gonna keep using uh, Flame Wheel. Yeah, I thought he might use a potion. And he's dead. Burn finished him off. Ooh, that's a new one too. Their rule. <laughs> and the music on this uh this fight is crazy. Whoa! What the heck is that? Tofurring? That's the evolved form of that Zubat thing? This isn't over yet. Oh my god, that thing is huge! That's a cool looking Pokemon. I'll still kill it easily. Oh, he's burned. Should be able to kill him in three hits. It's the second hit. And he's about to die. I'm 
paralyzed. And he's dead. She got a lot of experience for that. 517. Raptor's level 4. Level 24. One more level and I'll gain a uh, new move. That was a well earned victory. Well, fuck it. Consider me impressed. Now, if you could hand over that gem you found earlier, click, and ta da! Here's your badge. The Bright Gem. Why is it called the Bright Gem Badge? Oh, well, I guess it's because of the gem. I hope you'll look at that badge and remember all the hard work it took to earn it. Also, please accept this TM Brick Break. Fighting type move that I use to help excavate tunnels. Not only is it powerful, but it can also shatter walls like reflect and light. Oh. Reflect and light screen. So that you make good use of it on your journey. Sweet. I did it. Second badge unlocked. So let's check out that new move. Where is it? Um bag. Brick break. This user attacks with tough fists. It can also break any barrier. Let's see how strong it is. Seventy-five power. Holy crap. I am definitely gonna teach it to uh, this guy. But what should I forget? Maybe Ember? Yeah, let's forget Ember. Poof. I learned Brick Break. Since you can use TMs multiple times, I could just teach this to everybody. I might as well teach it to... Like, these other Pokemon. Oh, maybe just this one. There we go. Cool. So, time to go heal up. Also, one second, let me look at something. Let's give him a Hornberry. Subway so still close. Can't use it yet. Okay, let's uh I guess we'll go this way. What's over here? Ooh, another route. I think I might save that for the uh next episode. Let's explore a little bit more on this town. Uh not a whole lot more to look at. Ooh, energy powder. Very bitter medicine powder. It restores the HP of one Pokemon by 50 points. A very bitter root. It restores the HP of one Pokemon by 200 points. Why is energy root... Oh wait, 200 points. 50 points, wow. Heals all status problems with a single... Huh. Maybe I should buy some of these. I guess I'll buy maybe like four energy powders. This may be useful like really later on in the game, so I'm gonna buy just one, and then I'll buy a few healing powders as well. And maybe, maybe a few more of these. Okay. They're kind of like discount potions. Potions only heal 20, that heals 50. Super potions heal 50. They're discount super potions. What else was I gonna do? I guess that's it. I guess I can I can start my journey. This video is getting kind of long though, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for uh, journeying with me through Pokemon Uranium. And stay tuned for, I think this is, I forgot which part this was. Part six? I think maybe part six. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching.